There has been a marked shift in Hezbollah's attacks. On Wednesday, the Israeli army suffered the highest number of casualties in a single strike since the conflict began in October. Six Israeli soldiers were seriously injured, and around a dozen others needed treatment when the Lebanese armed group used armed drones and missiles to target a building a few kilometers from the border. This time their rockets or um, drones did manage to get through Israel's uh, defense system. It wasn't the first time Hezbollah managed to break through Israel's defenses. 24 hours earlier, Hezbollah's armed drones targeted what the group said was an Iron Dome air defense battery. Showing also the size of damage that Hezbollah can inflict on Israel in case of war with Iran, where Hezbollah as an organic part of Iran cannot sit uh, idle and will have to be part of it when and if necessary. Hezbollah appears to be showcasing its ability to enlarge what has so far been a limited confrontation. In the past 72 hours, we've seen we've seen dozens of Israeli casualties, and I think that's definitely that's definitely not the ca- that definitely was not the case in in the past six months. This is a new level of uh, fighting, and it's much more costly to the Israeli forces. Israel, too, has been using more force against Hezbollah targets. We're witnessing again a degree of escalation, uh, but uh, also related to the fact that tensions uh, have been obviously increasing to an unprecedented level between Iran and Israel directly. The Lebanese armed group, which has so far been careful not to expand the conflict, appears to be raising the stakes as Israel threatens to respond to Iran's unprecedented attack over the weekend. Hezbollah Secretary General Hassan Nasrallah called Israel's targeting of Iran's consulate in Damascus a turning point. And for the first time since opening what he called a support front for Gaza, he expressed readiness to intervene militarily in the event of a wider war between Israel and Iran. The conflict between Israel and Hezbollah is in a new phase. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.